Is Grace an easy hunter? Let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to another full guide. This time round I will be focusing on Grace and how you can get started right after you finish watching this video. To begin, we first need to understand Grace's fundamentals of what she can do based on her external traits and skill set. Darkest Depths is her only external trait, and for her skill set, shapeshift, we have spearfishing, surging tides and billowing waves. Let's first go step by step so you can understand her ability. Darkest Depths. Grace leaves a trail of water behind her whenever she roams. The puddles of water she leaves behind only last up to 20 seconds. Survivors inside the puddles will continuously accumulate 10% humidity per second. The accumulation will be reduced to 5% per second when the survivor is near a rocket chair. After a survivor leaves the puddle of water for 7 seconds, the humidity will reduce by 5% per second. Survivors affected by humidity will receive a 10% vaulting debuff, 20% decoding debuff for both ciphers and opening of gates. When the humidity reaches 100%, it will deal damage equal to one normal attack to the survivor directly. Finally, after receiving damage from humidity, it resets to zero and cannot be applied for the next 5 seconds. Moving on, spearfishing. To put it simply, it just means her movement speed will increase by 30% after she has thrown her spear. On the flip side, she cannot do any interactions such as vaulting, breaking pallets, or hitting a survivor. She can then summon her spear back to her which forms a humidity area within its radius and will increase humidity onto the survivors within it. Do note that the spear will automatically come back to you if you exceed her spear distance away by 42 meters. Surging Tides, Grace First Presence. Grace can dash in a straight line and inflict 30% humidity onto the survivor if hit. However, it can only be used when the spear has been thrown. Billowing Waves, Grace Second Presence. Finally, her dash impact onto a survivor is increased from 30% to 50%. That is all for her external trait and skill set. Let's go over some gameplay on how to actually use her lol. Oh by the way if you're still watching, don't forget to check out my other full guides on other characters. Persona. As for Persona, Nyad should use 36. That is because her strength is anti-looping, so she would not need 12 to deal with loopers. Her anti-loop also forces survivors to transition to new areas which could result in free hits. Thus, insolence should not be required. When should you not play Grace? Grace is countered by survivors who are built for transition kiting as this defeats the purpose of her anti-loop. Chasing survivors who carry 39 would be an example of a counter. She is especially countered by mercenary, forward, and Cowboy. What is Grace strong at? She is especially good at getting free hits with her puddle of water against survivors who fails to transition into a new area in a short period of time. Or survivors that cannot escape her paddle of water. Early match. At the moment, for every start of the early match, I like to throw my spear immediately in the direction straight of a survivor spawn location. Her spear has a long duration before it resets, giving you sufficient time to create your puddle zones against survivors. In addition, the 30% increase in movement speed will help speed up your chase. These are some typical scenarios you will encounter a lot in your daily match as Grace. Few things to note before I wrap this up. Getting back her spear takes a few seconds. So be sure to take it back a few seconds ahead to hit the survivor. Type hashtag guide on which survivor or hunter you want me to make next and to show me you reached this far. What I just covered is only the surface of using Grace, 